right, I got great news for you guys. Hype Medical Center has three, that's right, three brand new therapies coming your way and a new spin on old therapy that we've already had. So if you guys are looking for things that are gonna specifically target belly fat, raise your IGF-1 levels, build lean mass, help with athletic performance, help with skin, hair, nails, anti-aging effects, then stay tuned because I got these three brand new therapies, Tessamorellin, MOT-C, and GHKCU, new transportation rate for PT-141 and nasal spray, cutting edge therapies to help you perform optimally, feel optimally, and heal optimally. So get ready, new peptides coming your way, right away, the Titan way. So right now I'm, uh, I'm at the airport and uh, heading out to Miami. Wasn't planning on it, but uh, one of my friends came in town from London and he's throwing this massive mega yacht party that he has and million dollars in DJs and he's gotta come. And so I'm gonna go down there and check it out. It's a big art festival, Art Basel. Um, something really, really cool. So I'm not just gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be doing all kinds of things down there. And business, of course. So um, yeah, uh, I'll be sharing some videos with you guys over the weekend. Show you guys what's up at Art Basel and maybe next year we'll hit that up too. Good plan. Get ready, Art Basel. Let's go. John's always so hungry. It's all your fault, John. <laughs> I'm a hungry man. What, what, what can you say? They make the frozen foods like that, babe. No frozen foods here, all right? Oh, uh, Off the window. Uh, Let's go. No, Are open for Monday, real quick. Escort here. 
taking us to our destination tonight for our basil. Thank you, Florida State Troopers. Oh yeah. Oh well, they, yeah. Some of the crew, here. Alex, Gabor in here. That's right. Sharice. EP up front, our driver, and we are off. Let's go. Escort, baby. I love it. Front and back. Let's go. Shop now online at TitanMedicalCenter.com where you can choose from a wide variety of premium sportswear. Just like everything else at Titan Medical Center, you can expect the highest standard and quality from our services to our therapies and much, much more. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220 and start on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. So I got this in the mail today. I was like, man, what is this? I was like, oh, it came from Easy Supply. Okay. So at that point, I'm like, all right, well, I got a ton of Yeezys. And anybody knows me knows I'm a sneakerhead for sure. And I have a ton of unworn Yeezys. So I kind of felt in there, I'm like, well, these Yeezys finally were one thing. I ordered the Yeezy Pods. I ordered these like four weeks ago. And it told me it would take like four to six weeks. And I was wondering like when the hell they're coming in. I've seen these things online, a couple of influencers got them and stuff like that. So I want to see them for myself because these are a little bit different. They come in only three sizes, one, two, and three. And depending on what your foot size is, is between those is what size you get. So I'm anxious to see how it's really going to fit to as well. So let's take a look. So we open this up. All right. So it comes out of here. There's no receipt. There's the bag. Now it comes with a little shoe bag. Cool. Now, originally when these things came out, they were $200. I originally bought a pair for $200. Me, yes, I'm dumb, but this is what it is. Um, and then Super Bowl, he had a $7 million commercial we went on, and he put everything for $20 on his website. We went on there and bought Peter Repair, and just to see how it was, it's 20 bucks. How much do you, things do you spend $20 on? You're like, oh man, this sucks. So if these aren't any good, then we're good to go. So let's see how this fits. I mean, you don't have to wear a sock. Might be good. Right? I don't know if your feet are gonna sweat in here or what. Um, but the other thing I like about these, it just takes me back to my childhood, these look like little ninja shoes. I'm just gonna run around like a little ninja. Right? Let's, let's see how this thing is. And of course, I've got my Yeezy on right here. Got my Titan socks on, of course. Gotta represent all day, every day. Oh, well, let's see how the Yeezy pods are. All right. Now, Balenciaga and like all these brands have came out with these, these like sock shoes, I guess. But I've never seen Yeezy come out with them, so let's see how it was. And some of the influencers said, hey, listen, you know, there might be a little loose, you know, shoe at the end because your foot might not be big enough. So let's see how this is. I mean, definitely fit, you feel the pads on the, on the feet. My foot does fit in here. I'm a size 12. And they look all right with this, you know? I kind of was like worried about what am I going to wear this with, right? Because like even this, like it looks like I'm wearing socks. They look pretty good. I mean, material looks good. You know, I don't know. I'd have to really give them a run. Maybe I'll wear these for one day and just see how the day goes. Because I mean, my foot really doesn't feel like doesn't feel wet in there. I mean, obviously if it rains, they're probably gonna go through, but that could happen with any other shoe too. But we'll see, we'll see how comfortable it is. And uh, I'll give you my review on the Easy Pods. But the cool thing is, is you don't need socks if you have the Easy Pods, because you have socks and the shoe. Like I said, it's like a little ninja, ninja shoe. So bring out the ninja in you. Check out the Easy Pods, $20. If you really wanna see what they are, go to easy.com, check them out.
Have you been feeling off lately, wishing you had more energy? Does it feel like your normal healthcare provider doesn't listen to you? At Titan Medical Center, we will listen to you. Our caring team of healthcare professionals are here to ensure that you have a positive experience while customizing an individual care plan that will fit your specific needs and optimizing your overall health. Call us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. I'm Chenille, I'm a nurse practitioner here at Titan Medical Center. Just want to kind of touch base with you today and let you know why female hormones are so important to be evaluated and monitored, especially if you're experiencing symptoms that you may not really understand or um, see how it can be affected by hormones in the body. So hormones do play a very important role in the way that you're feeling and they do all kind of work together um, in conjunction to help regulate and balance each other within the body. So many times patients just feel really tired, weighed down, bloated, fatigued, have low sex drive or libido, and they just kind of think maybe it's stress related or something going on. And oftentimes, sure, it could be, but other times it's not. And you don't always know that unless you get your hormones evaluated to see what's really going on within the body. Certainly other um, medical conditions can also play a role in regulation and balance of these hormones. Um, which you may not even be aware is taking place in the body. Um, so the best thing that you can do is to check your hormones, let us know how you're feeling, and see how we can help. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you. So we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so we're gonna. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So if you guys are just tuning in, or you guys tune in every week, just so you guys know, we go over different things and topics, tips and tricks to help you guys in your relationship, future relationship, and make sure you guys aren't making those bad mistakes that you might have made in the past or you guys just want to reignite things in your current relationship and just make things better. Progression is key in life, and especially in all your relationships, whether it's working relationships, but definitely in your love and personal relationships, right? Yeah, you need that. You definitely need that. So, you know, we were talking about what we were going <laughs> to, you know, cover this week, and, uh, you know, people come up to us and ask us, and like, how we got together the first Tell time. Tell me the story. So, you know. It must be so romantic. The origin story is a good place to start. Um, you know, so the origin story of me and Sheree. So, you know, and this <laughs> covers, you know, not all love is at first sight, right? right? So, you know, some people think that instantly when you meet somebody, you have to like, there's got to be sparks and, and you guys are connecting is. right away. And, Sometimes there is. And that's true. Yeah. Um, and they could be, you know, sparks and you guys, you know, think you guys love each other at first sight. And even with couples like that, you know, they're very lustful. They're right into it. You and know, then boom, three weeks later, they're broken up. They're done, right? You know, because that love at first sight, that might have been for, you know, they might think that person was hot or whatever it is. It might have been a physical thing that attracted them. Googly eyes. And then at that point, after the, you know, those things calm down a little bit and you have to spend long amounts of time with somebody. You're like, ew, I don't like you. You might find some things that you might not like. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> you know, with me and Sharice, our origin story was, you know, the first time that we met each other, oh my goodness. It, it wasn't love at first sight, it wasn't, right? Eh, no, no. It wasn't like, uh, you know, <laughs> we're like, oh, you know, do the best things to slice bread. You're so you're <laughs> hot. You're so sexy. Let me get your number. I mean, I was go hot out. and sexy, but we, you know, we all know that. It's definitely was hot sexy. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's current things that, that can be holding you back from some of these things too as well. Like, right. 
get just getting out of a, a relationship and yep. then you know not, not really wanting to in search the, it or not yeah in that, you like, were in mood. like the mindset i think right? we're both in that same situation yeah so i mean you know so you're like you know you're, you're skeptical or you're not even looking for it, you're not you know trying to approach situations like that at all mm -hmm. so you know things that that might draw you to somebody you might just you know put your brakes on at, for a little bit and just not even worry about something like that so right the first time we met each other you know we had a conversation where but it it wasn't at all uh, on the romantic conversations, <laughs> right? Um, or, or interest as far as romantically and stuff like that. No, so just like friendly. That was like uh, the first week and then literally like it was like the second week. It was a weekend again. Um, same place, right? Yeah, it was a friend's house. Seen each other, started talking a little bit. Um, you know, at that point, you know, these people were playing a game. They were playing the new Uno. Was it the new Uno? Yep, because the old Uno wasn't I know good how, enough. I know how to play old Uno. I don't know about no new, no new Uno. So I'm just sitting there watching and, you know, I, I, I obviously pick up the rules of the game. I read the, the damn insert. <laughs> so smart. And I'm like, all right, so, you know, Sharice is playing. She's playing with all these other people. And I kind of was trying to help her out. So that's kind of where it was at that point. I was like, oh, my God, this guy's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and at that point, like, you know, Sharice was wearing a dress. She bought it all night and stuff. Um, and, you know. I, oh, yeah. You I, didn't mention kinda, that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I kind of said, like, hey, listen, <laughs> you know, it looks like, you know, you're kind of hot and kind of sweating there. You know? and, and then I try to do it real low key because, you know, that's embarrassing for somebody if you say it out loud. I was sweating. So okay, at that point, but I like, really don't sweat. She's like, I don't sweat. And she's like, said it in front of everybody to try to embarrass me. <laughs> All right, and that's the wrong move. You know, I'm really good and real kind and real easy going, but when you try to come at me, I'm going to come at you right back. So at that point, I'm like, oh, really? I'm like, well, those pit stains right there are telling a different story to me and everybody else here, right? And then her face, like, oh, I just got to look down at it. Oh. oh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> On that note. On that note, this is what it was. So it still wasn't romantic at that point. That was not very romantic at all, actually. Yeah. I left him downstairs after that. She did. She uh -huh. did. So at that point, I got left, at, you know, by myself. Um, but, oh, that was really sad too. But it's he's so cute though. It's yeah. just, it was. This is a very non-cute experience for us. Yeah. So at that point, it wasn't there. <laughs> so when again, I think it was third week. We were trying to do some business deal or something like that together yeah. in, in the really in, uh, in the beginning, and then. At that point, we decided we we're going to meet up or whatever. Well, and, no, I found out he lived in Newport Ritchie. Yes. And then I was like, oh, my God, you live in Newport Ritchie? I'm Trendy. like, nobody lives in Newport Ritchie. Yeah. Literally, it's Newport nowhere is what I used to call it, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh. And I'm like, okay, obviously. I'm like, this is just hot guy. I'm like, he lives in Newport Ritchie with me. We totally have to be friends, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> So. so I'm like, hey, listen, why don't you come on over? I was like, I'll cook you dinner and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it is what it was. You know, watch a movie or whatever. It wasn't Netflix back then, so I couldn't say Netflix and chill. <laughs> I like to get that trademark. Uh, but, no, it wasn't like that. So, you know, she came over, cooked her dinner. I remember what I cooked her. It was grilled chicken and a baked potato. Baked potato. Because even back then I was just starting to really He had the, the pasta cake. out, but I mean, a baked potato was better. Yeah, baked potato is always better. Yeah. I like baked potatoes. Yeah. And really simple and easy, so... It, it clicked too because it was a pretty basic grilled chicken breast and just a regular baked potato. Nothing really like fancy. We don't like no stuff on our food, yeah. You know, and she goes right along with that. So yeah, neither one of us like stuff on our food. You know, when you get in relationships with some people, different palates. You know, different people like different things, and yeah, they want them to try these different things and stuff like that. Where yeah. we were kind of on the same page right away. So for that's sure. that's a win-win for me, a hundred percent. Um, you know, and then after that, I, I think, you know, we, we were going to meet out at... Gasparilla! Uh, no, oh, it was Gasparilla, right? You skip. We totally skipped Gasparilla. What about Hyde Park? Well, was Hyde Park before Gasparilla? Hyde Park was before Gasparilla. So he had me at Hyde Park. So Hyde Park, yeah. we're like, hey, listen, let's go out dancing, whatever. She's like, all right, I'm at Hyde Park, so I was going to go there with a buddy. I was like, all right, we're going to meet you at Hyde Park. Uh-huh, wait, so hold on a second. Yeah, I'll meet you at Hyde Park. So first of all, I don't wait on anyone. So when you tell me you're going to be somewhere, and I'm actually on time... Which is hardly ever. Which is never, okay? <laughs> I'm never on time. So if you want me to be somewhere, you better tell me like two hours before. Yeah. And I will be on time. So I was actually on time. I don't know about that. And I'm like, excuse me. I t I'm like, text him, like, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm down the street, but the, you know, my friend, he's just, he's wrapping up something. I'm like, dude, what is your problem? So, like, you know, I'm kind of getting a little like, all right, should we even wait? Because I'm with my girlfriends, obviously. I'm like, we should just, we probably, just, we probably just leave, right? He's like, well, I'm just walking in right now. So this was this was it right here. This was this was the moment. 
Now this is your, you know, knight in shining armor moment, right? So it's in the nightclub. You got the lights all beaming, right? I'm standing up there as a two-step portion right here. And like he's like walking through the club and he's got his like he's walking in there like, you know, yeah, look at me. <laughs> My name is John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sexy. Look at me, right? That's him, right? And so I'm standing over there. I see all the lights beaming on him, looking all cute. And I'm like, oh, he's got all these muscles and stuff. I'm like, you know what? Never, ever, ever in my life, and anybody can correct me on this, never, ever have I ever jumped up on a guy. Like, jumped up on a guy, like, wrap my legs around a guy and be like, yee -hee. No, that's not me, okay? But for some very strange reason, I decided to do that with him. <laughs> So at that point, boom, jumped up on him, said, yeah. what's up? Yeah. And that was it. It yeah. was, it was, that was like the moment. Yeah. That was the moment yeah. of the moments. I remember that night. Remember? For sure, absolutely. I, I compare it to the belly movie. I'm sure half of you guys don't know what that is, but yeah. it's like, you know, he had the yeah. lights shining on him. And he's like moving in the club in the and stuff. Yeah, that yeah. opening scene, for sure. <laughs> Just like that. For sure. So, so it was good. Yeah, you know, it was continuing then. And then the next portion went, because we were just dating at the time, right? And then like, I don't know, when you were little kids, you're like, you know, we're going out, you know. This it wasn't is my like official, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't official at that point. We were, we were still dating and stuff like that. Like, people don't put titles on things, I guess, something like that when you get older. So, the next event it was, was Gasparilla. Gasparilla. So, that was, the steal was, the deal. was working uh, a promo event. And at on that point, you know, Gasparilla, if you guys have ever been to it, I'm sure you guys have or know about it. Um, there's Insane. Tens of thousands of people, 100,000 people, whatever it is, you know, on Bayshore <laughs> Boulevard. And it's, it, it's, a, it's miles or stretch of that road. <laughs> and up and down there, people are, you know, they're partying, they're having a good time. All these houses are having house parties. Wasted by so like 10 o'clock in the morning. Their, yeah, usually, yeah, 10 a.m. Usually Literally. people are pretty much wasted that pretty point much. in time. Um, went down there with a couple of my friends and buddies because she was working or whatever. And I told her, I was like, you know, she told me where she was at. I'm yeah, I'm like, like come on over. I'll, I'll, I'll be on my way. But you can't drive down Bayshore. You right? have to walk. All the roads are blocked off around there. So you're not getting around by car. <laughs> so at that point, you're either walking. I don't know if they can even scooter nowadays because there wasn't scooters back no, then. No, no, no. You had to walk. So at that point, I'm like, listen. There were like floods I'll be on of people. Way. Floods uh, of people. And, you know, kept walking. And I had a couple group of guys with me. And they kept stopping off. I'm like, listen, whoever's with me, come with me right now because I'm not going to stop I'm like, anymore. are you coming? Are you coming? What's going on? So I literally, at the walk, <laughs> I'm walking down Bayshore and through there. And, like, it's literally a couple miles. And I had to go all the way down to the general hospital, Tampa General. Right? <laughs> so at that point, like. I'm walking all the way down there, and then Sharice is on this boat doing this promotion and stuff like that. I'm like, well, how am I going to get to the boat? I was like, oh, yeah, right? that's right. Because <laughs> you can't just rent a boat or anything like that. And then how are you going to get over the rails to get to the boat? So oh, I'm, my, oh, this is bad. I'm at Tampa General, and then I see this guy, like, literally on this, like, little, little like, tugboat. A I'm not tugboat. joking around. One it must have little fit, like, old man. It must have fit four people on the whole thing. <laughs> uh, it was, like, literally out of, like, Popeye, like those old tugboats. So... <laughs> You know, I'm going to jump oh over the rail, God. and then one of the security guards at Tampa Jones like, you can't do that. You can't. I'm like, listen, I just got to get over there. It's me, like, you know? just over here. So he's like, all right. And I've never really seen a security guard let you go like that. So he's like, all right, go ahead and do it. And I see this guy in this tub. I'm like, listen, I'll pay you like 30 bucks. Just take me like right over there. He's like, jump on board. So we literally got on board. I had one other friend with me. We jumped on board, and we went over on the tugboat to get on this other boat. As soon as I got on the boat, though, we had a small issue because all of a sudden, you know, I'm at an all-girl promotion. Yeah. It's on a guy's boat, and yeah. this guy is like, who is these guys getting on my boat? <laughs> I'm like, listen, 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 listen. Let me just work. In so I work. Let me work some deals. Give me yeah. a second, John. Work some deals in the back here. I was like, all right, I'm going to let this guy on the boat. I'm like, just yeah. let him on. Yeah. So let him on. And boom. So we're there, had a good time, whatever, <laughs> and then it's time to leave Gasparilla, right? Oh so we God. get off, get off on the dock, and then to get back to your car is is, is hell. Like, you literally got to fight all the traffic. There's nothing <laughs> open. There was no it's Uber terrible. back then or anything like that. So we're, like, trying to get back. We finally get back, and we're driving back to drive her home. So I went to go drop her off. She had one of her girlfriends with her in the car at that time. And we'll drop her off. We're kind of, like, sitting there in the front. In the garage. And, and, you know, and then her friend just hits us with it. Weird. She's like... She's like, are you guys like going out? Are you guys, are you guys like wife and girlfriend? girlfriend? Or like, we kind of look at each other we like, look, I don't know. Like, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so like, that's what officially made it. You oh, know? yeah. How, like, how special. We're officially boyfriend and girlfriend at this point in time. 
<laughs> and it was pretty quick. There's a couple of weeks where all this happened. Yeah, so. and then right after that, two weeks later, I moved in. Yep. Then we had a baby. We got married. And within six months, it was yep. great. Yeah, we planned everything. So it wasn't like an unplanned yeah. pregnancy no, or no, anything no. like that. No, that was planned. You know, we, we knew what we wanted. We, kind of, we were together. People told us we were oh, crazy. Yeah, we're definitely crazy. It was never going to work. You know, uh, even parents were like, hey... Uh, they were like, you know, you're spending too much time together. And, yeah. You know. Well, because I got, it's only because I got, I personally get sick of people and things very quickly. So my dad at the time yeah. was like, listen, you're going to get real sick of this guy and you're not going to like him no more. And I know you like him a lot. So yeah. you could just keep him around and you just hang out with him every day, all day. You're going to get sick of him and then he's going to be gone. Because I was like, this guy's awesome. I think, the, you know, this is the guy. And he's like, you're going to get sick of him. I'm like, no, I'm not going to get sick of him. I think I really, really am not going to get sick of him. And yeah. then boom, every day. We've been together every day since. That's how it worked. Every I mean, day, all day. You know, so... <laughs> Everything might you know might not go as to plan. Of what you're trying yeah, to do, it right? doesn't. And you know when you're looking for love, you, you probably aren't going to find it because you're looking for it. But mm -hmm. usually it comes unexpectedly. Things that you're not looking for literally pop up usually on you, um, and that's how it is. Like if people really stress about things, they're looking, they're, they're picking things apart all the time. It's too making it too hard. It might be too hard, and you, you you might throw some different people aside that might really be a good match for you. So you got to keep an open mind too. And, and you know, like I said. Things might not be all fireworks when you first meet, but when you get to know somebody, that's when you're really true to get to like them. Right. And, you know, that could turn to a, a relationship. You have no idea. You know, good friends sometimes do that. Turn, yeah, you know, they because they're close to each other and they learn about each other. They really love these different things. And it's not just a physical thing. It's really a personal thing at that level. So, you know, I, and I think that's big. You know, the physical can only take things so far. Right. You know, then there's got to be some sort of mental stimulation, interest. Some sort of connection. You guys have some sort of, like, uh, common ground. Yes. Yeah, so Me and John are literally, you know, he's the nice version. I'm the mean version. But we are basically the same people. He's just yeah. a guy and I'm a girl. Yeah. But we are the same people. We think alike. We, 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 everything is pretty much alike. We eat alike. Yeah. You know, the way we talk, walk, act alike. Everything is alike. Yeah. It's just boy version, girl version. Yeah. So you never know what's going to be lucky. out there. I got lucky. We got lucky. I got, got I, you know, I met my soulmate. Definitely. It was meant to that this for sure was meant to be, 100%. and obviously we met for bigger reasons like Titan. One hundred percent, and our son Peter. Of course, little Pete. So, you know, this is just something to make you guys aware. Listen, you never know when love is going to hit you. Um, don't always think grass is green on the other side too. As well, people do that all the time. That's not what it's about, especially with the social media age and all these other influences out there and yeah. people being thirsty and stuff like that. And I'm not talking about you know they need a drink. I'm talking about thirsty. So, at that point, listen, live your life. You know, love, but keep an open mind about what's out there for you guys. If you haven't found true love yet or your soulmate, don't worry. That person's out there, but you got to keep an open mind and kind of look to as well. But don't just try to pick everybody apart. All right. So I think that sums up another Cupid's Corner. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys all tuning in. We're here for you guys every Sunday at 11 a.m. And if you didn't DVR us and you missed the show, don't worry. You can always check it out on our YouTube page. Just type in Titan Medical Center or check out our social medias, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We're on all those. Titan Medical Center or Titan Medical. You'll find us there. So I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. See you then.